What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. As I have never reached out on YouTube before, I'm going to let you guys know about something that I'm selling in case you guys are interested. You can reach out to me on like Twitter or Facebook or whatever. I have an AMD Ryzen 5900X that I purchased. Um, and I just don't really need it as much as I thought I would. So I'm looking to get rid of it. Um, I also have, in case anyone on YouTube or Twitch is interested... I have this Sliv Drazi monstrosity that I'm trying to get rid of. And four misty rainforests. And some training grounds. And some dark depths. So if you guys are interested in any of these things, shoot me a message. And uh, let me know. And we can chat about it. Because uh, I figure it's better than going to like TCG Player or eBay or what have you. So... But now we're going to draft the teamer cube. You got any of them Pikachus? I don't have any Pikachus, unfortunately. I do have a surfing Pikachu. But I don't know where he is right now. I already have a monocle that someone purchased me. Teamer Cube, are you listening? So every deck is Teamer? No, that is not how that works. Just like a regular cube is five colors and every deck is not five colors. You still have specific colors within the within the cube that you can choose to be or not be. I kind of like Niv-Miz at Perrin here. I also kind of like Wooded Foothills. Thank you. Aya Koopa, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. Appreciate you. I'm going to take this Niv-Mizzet. I kind of like Niv-Mizzet a lot here. And I want an excuse to play Niv-Mizzet. So I'm going to take Niv-Mizzet. I like having Niv-Mizzet. I think Niv-Mizzet's a good card. I'm going to keep saying Niv-Mizzet until you guys are like, wow, he sure is saying Niv-Mizzet a lot. Niv-Mizzet's starting to sound real weird because he says it so much. Mass manipulation could be very, very good. Frantic search could be fine. I want to take the mass manips. Oh, Dak Faden. Dak Faden seems great. I definitely think there is a uh, an artifact archetype in this cube. So uh, by taking Dak Faden, I think it might be just as good as, say, Dak Faden in the vintage cube, maybe? It's a goblin, dark dwellers are you listening. No blue red lands are a glistening. Cloud of fairies, do you do anything? According to my Amazon history, it was me who bought you the monocle. Yes. I <laughs> I like that you're already we've reached the point in our friendship where you're gonna send me uh repeats of gifts. Bright of Flame is Kind of poop, but there might be storm in here. I'm going to take Goblin Dark Dwellers because I feel like this guy could be just fine. Especially if we... Oh, Scalding Tarn. But I got to pass the Sublime Epiphany. I think we're going to take a Scalding Tarn. Make sure that mana is nice and juicy. Oh, Young Pyromancer. That goes well with Niv-Mizzet. Niv-Mizzuti, that booty. As, Thank you. as they say. Kid Cabbage, welcome back. Thank you for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. Boy, you need some RAM if you want to cast this stuff. Ramp? Do you mean ramp? Because I don't think RAM is going to help us cast this. Gatebreaker RAM for sure. Yeah, it's going to help us cast these things. Dude, I've seen like four green, green red lands. 
Hemenetal's augury was was bananas when we cast it, and I think it was the Live Your Dream. Oh, it was, I think it was the Grixis cube actually. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery, you put a verse counter on it. It deals damage equal to the number of Is this good? I feel like there's there's got to be too many ways in green to get rid of a card like this, right? I think we had like four enchantment removal spells the other day. I'm going to take Augury, because we're here to have a good time, not a long time. We're not here to have a long time? That doesn't even make any sense. We're here for a good time, not a long time. This pack's not great for us. Just take Talarian Academy. It's like green, green, mediocre blue, green, green, green. Oh, what up, Jimmy? But if you're going to sell your RAM, sell it for retail. It's good time. Good, good times. Good times. Ugh, God. I'll, I guess it's just rapid hybridization. I'm not thrilled about it. Echo of Eons, huh? Palladium Mirror is nice, but it doesn't help us cast Mass Manipulation or Niv Mizzet, so that's rough. I'm going to take Echo. I guess it, I mean, it helps us cast Amanitao's Augury. Sure, whatever. I don't love it at all. I don't care about Kiln Fiend. Dragon Master Outcast I do like. Dude, there's a lot of land. There's a lot of... Is someone else taking all the blue and we should have just been green-red? I guess Kiora is actually fine and still playable. Dark Dwellers triggers it. Niv-Mizzet triggers it. K-H-I-O-R-A. I have no idea who that is. Are you trying to spell Kiora with a K? With a K-I-O-R-A? Yeah, I think it is actually Sky Diamond here. I'm going to take this Sky Diamond. Mind's Desire. Oh, baby, there is Mind's Desire. That's fascinating. Look, another another good green-red land. Whereas we can take Wandering Fumarole, I guess. Yeah, I think that's what we're doing. I wonder, are there double lands? Yeah, we've, we've already seen a Misty. This cube has to have double fetches and and other things. I do kind of like Bone Crusher here. It triggers Young Pyromancer and niv -Mizzet. It's just a solid dude. We can also find another... We can't, I guess we can't find another dig through time, but... You know what I'm saying. No, I'm pretty sure I definitely saw Misty in the first pack. I may not have mentioned it, but... Yep, there are two copies of Misty Rainforest. Glenn seems great. So does Factor Fiction. So does Talisman, actually. Uh, have I started WandaVision? Yes, I saw. I watched. We watched both episodes tonight. I will not give anything away about it. I just thought it was great. Um, I kind of like Glenn here. Kiki Jiki and through the breach? Jeez. This is fascinating. I could also take Karn as well. I kind of like through the breach. I'm taking through the breach. I want to live that dream. Oh, force of negation. Okay. Mm, control magic is nice. I'll take a control magic. Kiora is also a nice little ramp card for a blue... Oh, I would get the Fire Diamond too? Sure. Dubs Diamonds. Phantasmal Image. Yeah, okay.
I called it on the diamonds. You really did, buddy. I'm so proud of you. They grow up so fast, you know. I do like Dryad. I don't think we're an upheaval deck, but maybe. We have Palladium Mirrors, Sky Diamond, Sky Diamond, Fire Diamond, Kiora. Mythos. I mean, this is actually just good even if you don't copy it, right? Or even if you don't kick it with the green, rather, is what I meant to say. Um, I'll take fires again. Take the scrib ranger so no one can hurt me anymore. Sure, we'll take this thing. Okay, nope, not what we're looking for still. That is unfortunate. I do like a Teferi. Hmm. I think if we can get the mana, Teferi is pretty sweet here. God, Matthew loves a friggin' brain freeze. It's borderline obsessive. I want to take Teferi. Oh, Temple of Epiphany? Sure. I'm going to pretty much probably take any land. <sighs> Actually, maybe it's Mana Leak. Mana Leak is real strong. So is Remand. Oh, boy. Hmm. Also, Cold Steel Heart, Worn Power Stone. This pack is pretty good. Let's take Mana Leak. Oh, I like Cloud Skate a lot. If Evacuation comes out, that'd be cool. I'm going to take Cloud Skate here. <sighs> oh, we got the Yargle Anger of the Gods, y'all. Mm, another blue green land. Not for us. I think we'll just take Forbid. It's a solid counter spell. Don't think we're through the breaching just yet. God, young, we, like, we just don't have a lot of spells either, so it's kind of sad for Young Pyromancer. And, like, I guess Niv Mizzet's still fine even without spells. I'm going to take Young Pyromancer out. The Rand Dynamo is pretty sweet here. Also, Frost Titan. Let's take Thran Dynamo. And let's put the upheaval back in. Equals lights out. I would love more lands. I hope the temple comes back, and I hope there's a volcanic island in one of these last few packs, but uh, we'll see. Time spiral. Wow. God damn. I think it's just Pact of Negation, to be quite honest. God, we keep seeing Mystic Snakes. 
I mean, I'll take brain freeze. Or uh, flash freeze, rather. Flash freeze is actually really good. If you can board it in. Arclight Phoenix are definitely not an Arclight Phoenix deck. We're not an opposition deck. Ketria Triome is probably really good here. I'll just take the Ketria Triome. It also lets us potentially kick Mythos. I'll take a Palancron. Temple did not come back, but we have two Pongify effects. I'm not sure I want either one. Evacuation did come back. There's also obviously a lands and graveyards theme in this. <clears throat> in this cube, it seems like. Life from the Loam. Lotus Veil. So this is 23. I don't think we're missing anything. But I feel like we just barely got to 23. It almost feels like if you're not drafting all three colors, you're kind of kneecapping yourself. Like, it's funny because I don't even think Dark Dwellers is very good here. Like, we our only spells to cast with Dark Dwellers are Dark Dwellers. There's literally three counter spells. Which is kind of rough. We're almost like mono blue, splashing for like Bone Crusher, Deck, Dragon, and Niv Mizzet. Flash Freeze actually is probably main deckable, right? It's a team or cube, so you're you're definitely playing at least one of these colors. So let's do that. And Riftwing is a two drop. This seems fine. Nope. Why is there a green in here? Oh, for Kiora? Sure. Is Kiora even good? She triggers off of, like, one thing. I wonder if we just don't, like, Pongify Rapid Hybridization instead of Kiora. Thank you! Oh, Mike, thank you for the resub, buddy. I mean, I don't think the mono blue deck's worth taking out Niv Mizzet for. Actually, it might be maybe Evacuation over Kiora. Like, bouncing a Bone Crusher or Riftwing Cloudskate is almost just fine. Yeah, alright, let's try it like that. So this is 6, 7, this is 13 to 7, 8 with a Fire Diamond. I think that's probably okay. Alright. Well, we have Upheaval, Evacuation, Amanitao's Augury, Mass Manips. I don't know if this is going to be any good in here. We don't have any Planeswalkers. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. So now the question is, do I run this guy out there now, or do I hope to play it on, like, turn six? I think we're just going to run it out there now. Thank you! Oh, what up, Chugrin? Thank you for the resub, buddy. I will now return to the shadows of YouTube. Appreciate you, my dude. Elder Gargroth. It's almost like Flash Freeze is a good choice. We can just counter their first three things they play. That seems good. We could also just not care about some of them as well. Like right now, if they play like Gnarled Pack, Eladomri. I really don't think I care about Eladomri. Giving Elves Forest Walk doesn't really do anything. Of course, we're going to draw Ketri a Triome here. We can actually cycle a Triome, I guess. Mm. 
See, this I might counter, because that's a good amount of mana. Also, if they're just like mono green and they don't have a way to deal with Dragon Master Outcast, I mean, that's going to win the game. I was really afraid of them, like, there being like a one mana trick that untaps a guy. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty good against us. Thankfully, it can't attack this turn. So next turn we play five, next turn we play six, then we start getting dragons. Oh, boy. Well. So we have to take seven, then seven. Uh, don't love it. Sure. Uh, I'm kind of in for this. Because it means they can't pro they were probably going to play this and then play Gargaroth afterwards. Keep in mind, we've drawn like nothing. 5, 6, 7, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, I got to counter this too. <laughs> I mean, unfortunately, like, because this is 16 damage on board, which we just have to block with this. I actually don't know what we're going to... We have to draw something next turn. I mean, that would be nice. That would, that would be ideal because that's how we survive the game is drawing something that's not a land. Okie dokie. It's kind of not a land, right? Probably going to block here, start making dragons, if, if I'm able. Yep, this is going well. Cool. Yeah, we can probably scoop here. Trample. You didn't even see how I block? And I guess we can draw something. <laughs> it's, it's not the worst. Um, They have one card. We know it's Elder Gargaroth. We can easily block here. We knew it was you. Now they're going to tap their cradle and play Rex Age. Nope, just going to give it trample again. So we go to one. We get a dragon and we'd like a spell. That would be great. Something, 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 something. Non-land. It's not big enough. 
fucking land that I can use. That's pretty incredible. That's absolutely amazing. <laughs> that's, yep. That's the old Frank look. Please put a 3-3 on the play in the battlefield because that's the correct play. Good choice. Yep. Open the game with three counter spells and a control Thank magic. You. Not good enough when you have shifting ceratops. Y2K, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Yep. Evacuation. I can't even cast that. Fucking amazing. All right. That was a. That was what's known as a good game. Good game. <sighs> um. Hmm. I'm gonna take the augury out. Bring in. Can't be regenerated. Can't be regenerated. Ape lizard. Can make him a lizard. Yeah, that was game one. Um, I think that's fine. Everything else seems good. Oh yeah, snap keep. There's a lot of mana. This could be good. We'll see. God, twice every every game, huh? Sure. The Rand Dynamo, and also we have the um, the mana to uh, kick the Mythos, which is nice. You played those lands well. Well, I did what I could. Here's Eladomri. Being sure to give his other elves Forest Walk when I have my one forest in the deck. So next time we're going to probably copy Rishkar. Actually, I don't know how good that is. All right. Well. Actually, maybe we just steal Rafelos. They have Shroud. Sounds good. Card's surprisingly good, mono green. Especially if you have multiple elves. Giving your fellow Shroud is kind of a thing. That's a big mood right there. game yeah put a counter on him why not yep can't can't copy it can't fight it so that's good pro pro blue seems pretty good when our deck is primarily blue I, I don't, i'm not sure i would include cards with protection uh in a three color cube just because you're you're like you're negating 33 percent of the cards in the cube like i mean same thing with Scrib, Scrib Ranger. Like, when we have Scrib Ranger in our first draft, like, it just wasn't even close. 
like we were just holding off frost frost titans all day and it was just like i mean it was good for us because we were able to win the game but i mean i don't think i don't think it was good for the good for the game you know what i mean like does that make sense So we're going to go green to, actually, it's not going to work, right? This is just two, one, two, three, four. Choose a, okay. Other elves have shroud, even their fucking. <sighs> That's incredible. Yeah, this card is. I, this card is not good. <laughs> it's like, it's giving them a shroud. Like, fucking me stealing this gives their other creatures shroud. And I can't even, like, block because of Ketria Triumph. And they couldn't even put counters on their creatures because of Rishkar. Oh, that's not good. Six, I mean, was this, ten damage? And we can't block it because they have Forest Walk and... Wow, Pro Blue, Shroud, Shroud. Cool. This is surprisingly not fun and interactive. Yep. Who can I block? This guy, I guess. But that doesn't seem good. I guess I'll just go to two. <sighs> this is wild. Man, the first cube we did here was great. This one is, like, really... This 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 is not this is not ideal. Protection and shroud are like two of the least fun abilities in magic, and it's just kind of wild. <laughs> shroud, pro blue shroud. Cool. I mean, I don't does that get around shroud stealing like one of these guys? I don't even think it matters. Like they have it doesn't I don't think it matters. Yeah, they're just gonna go to the next round and hopefully we don't have to deal with this. Kind of bullshit. Uh, you can't actually copy anything because it literally says create a token of, of a of target permanent. This is not this is not a clone that enters the battlefield as something because it's a sorcery, not a permanent. So you actually have to target something. And this guy is shroud. This guy is pro blue. And this guy is shroud. So you can't actually target it. Yeah, which is which is like significantly worse for us. <clears throat> Like, sometimes you just have to write it off. You're like, all right, well, that match was non-existent, so I guess we'll just go to the next one. Yeah, we'll give this a try. Oh, they're charting a course. Charting a course, and you're to blame. You give love a bad name. Frexian Revoker. Okay. You could have copied control. No, no. What? Well, like, I... But it doesn't get around pro blue. So just like playing control magic to target, like. I'm actually not sure if that works. I know it did one point. I'm not sure if it still works that way. Well, well it doesn't matter. I mean, it's still the, the point is like, we're still taking a two, one Rafelos or a uh, two, two Rish car. Neither of which is super impressive when they have protection from blue 6-5. Oh, no land here, huh? Hmm. Wall B. I mean, we have multiple counter spells here, so. 
I'm not going to walk into like a force of wi uh, factor fiction rather. Electrolyze. Yeah, you got it. Oh, what if Iron Man? Oh, message has been deleted. That's too bad. So long, message. Um, no, don't like that. We got a pact of negation? Mystical dispute. I can't, I can't imagine pack navigation is good here. Sure. Obviously, no. I could actually copy it, which is kind of cool. What are you naming? What's in your deck? They named Solemn Simulacrum. Oh, we actually could have flash froze this. Maybe we should have done that. For some reason, I didn't even think about it. And that's my bad. They have no pressure. I wonder if we just copy this and get back Force of Negation. That actually seems pretty good. No, I'm just going to play Glenn. Glenn can also start pressuring her via attacking. I wonder if they're going to get back Maze of Ith and play it. Huh. Worth. To be fair, I don't think our deck is very good this time. Getting back Revoker. Sounds good. Academy Ruins. Fascinating. Academy Ruins. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I wonder what they're gonna name. Maybe Island? Oh, what if they name their own Tamio? That could be good. Oh, Glenelendra. Fascinating. You got it. I kinda like copying Solemn Simulacrum and killing the Revoker. I just want to draw an island. I think drawing an island puts us in great shape to do that. Because this has to be our green, so these have to be our blue. And I would want to keep up a land. Yeah, being able to get this off the board, get an extra land, draw an extra card, and kill Tamiya would be very, very nice. Paying for pack navigation is a pro gamer move. 
Don't get it twisted. Just another manic Monday. Whoa, whoa. They named Jace. And did they hit? Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> Seems good. Well, that is a land, but it's not the land we wanted. So... I still think we do what we're going to do. Um, copy the Solemn. One, two, three, four, play dynamo. That doesn't do it. I mean, we could definitely phantasmal image, copy solemn. It's not very exciting though. I think I'd just rather get this guy off the board. Island, fight it up. So, we know they have Jason, four other cards. Oh, good. Field of the Dead. <laughs> that is something. Got monotamios dot deck over here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that puts us in good shape to upheaval here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I and mean, upheavaling with Glenelander in play is pretty good. Um, no? That was pretty fascinating. So how much is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana? So we're going to be able to float 6? Yeah, sure. Yep, this is actually... Could be pretty good. I, I can't imagine they have two counter spells in their hand. J 
Just another manic upheaval. Whoa, whoa. Four, five, six. We can use four of it. Keep a blue up. That seems pretty good, right? Oh, we're just going to win the game. Okay. That <laughs> seems good. All right. Sometimes you just upheaval and then you win the game. And Hunter wants to come in. Hold on. Goodbye, yellow brick of road. I almost like Pyromancer here. They're not a particularly aggressive. I don't think Emato's Augury is good in our deck. I think that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Oh, what up, Chaos Theory? Congrats, your message was not deleted that time. Um... Yeah, all right, it's fine. You can't let me in your penthouse. I wonder if Dak's any good here. I'm tempted to keep this hand because it has exactly Niv miss in mana. We're also keeping it because being able to play Dak here is uh, good for the excess nonsense in our hand. Like, we can just discard extra lands and stuff, so... I mean, hoping they don't mystical dispute it, because that would be just the worst. I'm feeling it. Yeah, this is... Oh, wow. Feel-bads are so real, dude. I mean, we didn't see four spike. Like, we could have waited till turn six, especially after getting forbid, but... Sometimes I'm pretty impatient, so. Hmm. So now I am going to play double mountains, because if we happen to draw niv and I do want to be able to just slam that dude. Yeah, anytime they electrolyze my face, I'm just like, okay. I'm probably... Is it worth cycling this for another card? Probably. Anytime they electrolyze my face, I'm like, please, sir, man, I have another... Undream Tuna with the biddies. Oh, my God. You're wonderful. I appreciate you, lady. You can't let me in your penthouse. I'm going back to my blood. <sighs> Frixing Revoker, huh? Yeah, that's fine. You don't even know what to name. You're just going to name something randomly. <laughs> Watch him name up evil. You never know. Baby bitties for those who do what they want, including cell CPUs. Oh my god, dude. What a pain. Thran Dynamo. Okay. Okay.
oh, this is what we've planned for. But this is what we've worked our whole life for. Do we just play this dude? Do we windmill slam this fat dude? Or do we take one more turn and sky diamond? Six, seven, we'll have eight mana so we can keep up a mana leak. No. I can't wait. I just can't wait. Besides, if they kill this, we get to draw a card anyway, and then we get to shoot the Phyrexian Revoker, so it's basically like a four for one. Okay. You got it. T -t Tomato. My tomato. People are dumb. You ain't even kidding. Oh, let's play lots of things here. Main phase. Mommy, you're a superstar. Mommy, you're the greatest. But some people can't even spell Astrid. A. X. I, I don't know. He got me. I'm actually going to buy back for bid. We don't need either of these. So I think this is actually pretty juicy. Just going to resolve. Also, forbid with Niv Mizzet is pretty insane because it's always paying for half of the card. Yeah, you got it. They only have two cards in hand, so that's pretty good. Draw another card. Oh, that guy's good. Let's shoot, uh, shoot this lady. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, we got plenty of mana here. <laughs> if we forbid with buyback and then forbid again, we've drawn two cards. So they have two cards. <laughs> and I think Dragon Master Outcast is pretty much going to take this game. Unless they can counter it. Unless they can deal with it twice. They might even draw a card here, actually. Because they are in bad shape. Nope. Okay. Your funeral, buddy. Oof. Oof. Uh, tomatoes. I'm not actually going to play land here because if we forbid once, we get to draw another card and then we can buy back again because we're going up to four cards on the second forbid, not the first. Yeah, that seems pretty rough. I don't really want that to resolve. oh wow see that's pretty good if this resolves like I don't think we can lose yep alright If they had a counter spell, they definitely would have countered that. So I think we're just going to play Teferi here. And then we have Forbid. Forever. They have a counter spell? Wow. Okay. Well. So be it. 
going to keep on shooting this lady. Um, I mean, we're going to make you just use the, the Maze of Ith, sure. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just gonna bounce this guy. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We could bounce the Tamio, but then they just get to replay it, and I'd rather not use a forbid on it when it's just on the board and we can deal with it next turn. Like they get one more tap of Nim Visit, it's fine. <laughs> oh, they're just drawing one. Okay. They they're like, well, the writing is on the wall, my dude. And I'm like, it sure is, my dude. Phyrexian and Metamorph? I mean... No. Oh, wow. That was a great draw. Good gravy. Okay. Well, they knew, they, they knew we had that. Were they just, like, trying to, like... Hope you don't counter this. Let's see if they counter it. Like, there's no way I'm giving you a niv it. This is never happening. Good Sam Smith song. I don't even know who Sam Smith is. What song? What song happened? I think you just made that up. Oh, I don't even think I've heard that. I, I might have heard that song. I just don't know it, but. Oh, James Bond Spectre title theme. Interesting. I have not seen Spectre, actually. All right, let's see if we can 2-1 here. First match was kind of, kind of ridiculous. Ooh, we can get a Triome here. That's pretty nice. Hopefully our opponent's creatures don't have a uh, Forest Walk. Well, I guess it's an option now. <laughs> oh, dear. Is Elvish Champion also in this queue? <laughs> Just mono Forest Walkers. Oh, we're definitely going to get Ketri a Triome. Ketri a Triome, how about that? <laughs> well, ideally, Counterspell, Phantasmal, and Control Magic keep me alive here. Next time I get to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm no mana expert, but... Fascinating. Ooh, interesting. Can I just steal their Prime Speaker? That seems pretty decent. This is an elf too, right? Get in there. Oh, they didn't even attack. Wild. That's wild. I think we're just keeping up for bid here. Next turn we can control magic. Yeah, I love Casino Royale. I think it's one of the better new ones. Um, I actually... I think I've seen Quantum of Solace. Is Nature's Claim in this cube? I don't know. Probably. It goes Casino Royale, Skyfire, Spectre, Quantum. I didn't even know there was four, to be honest with you. I didn't know Dan or Craig had done four so far. Oh, Rafelos. Wow, they are. Yeah. Oh, God. I 
I'm going to counter this because I just don't. It's actually, it's netting them two mana. One from the forest and one from the Elvis Druid. And it also gives them a, a two drop to sacrifice. Which could get them like a Rex Age. Four mana, huh? Three mana. It's making three. Oh boy. What are we controlling? Probably the Vanifar. I mean, we're taking nine either way, so. Yikes. If we steal this guy, we take three, four, five, six, seven. But we have a 2-2. Two, two. Two E's. T-O-O-E's. <laughs> so many E's. Um, ugh, God. I think it's, I think it's Prime Speaker. I don't know. This is actually not easy. Oh, what up, Alistair Stone? Yep, taking nine. Sounds good. So this is the second, like, mono green aggressive decks we've had to deal with. That's, that's fun. Can we go get a Niv Mizzet? That seems really good, actually. Let us bounce. I don't want this to copy Niv Mizzet, so we'll just bounce the Natural Elf. Oh, what if we copy bounce this guy and then shoot with Niv Mizzet? Interesting. So if we play Phantasmal Image, copy like Riffling Cloud Skate, we can bounce Nettle Sentinel. I think that's okay. I think we're still dead. I think maybe we shouldn't have attacked there. I think we shouldn't have attacked. I was I attacked thinking we were gonna actually no, hold on. We can do this. Copy you bounce you get your boy and then we'll pass because now we have two blockers and they have two attackers and we know two of the cards in their hand nettle and arch Now we know one of the cards in their hand. Nettle. Nettle! Now we know none of the cards in their hand. Okay, now we know they have one card. Well, we're not going to be able to, d to do anything else here, unfortunately. We're not going to be able to deal any more damage or... We could definitely keep up Teferi here. And then we have four blockers. Which seems pretty good. It surprises me that Teferi can be countered. If this resolves, it's actually backbreaking. 
Oh, wow. That's going to be the game. Four, three, two, two. We just wipe their board here. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, wow. Is that what the bloodbath is like? Dear Jesus. Wow, that's insane. Okay. Wow. That, that's a bingo. I'm going to take out Force of Negation and bring in, like, Rapid Hybridization. Take out the Augury and bring in Young Pyromancer. It's probably fine. This seems okay. Ooh, they went to six on the play. I mean, they have infinite one mana elves, so. Do I think this Tef yeah, this Teferi's been in powered cubes before. He's just not in like any current iterations. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Uh let's just go outcast here. Take out force of negation. Bring in rapid hybridization. I'm very tempted to block here. But I won't. Um, I think we just Dak. This seems like it. Pretty decent. I think next time we can go Thran Dynamo. Choose myself. Um... Two land seems fine here. I think they got a no, no attackers, no blockers. Here comes shifting ceratops. Give it haste. Attack my deck. Plow under. <laughs> Okie dokie. Um, I kind of don't want to deck here because I don't want to discard. Like we don't have that many threats in our deck, so I don't want to discard these. I want to keep the counterspell, I want to keep the land, and I want to keep the tarn. And I know we're hitting a land, which I also want to keep. So it puts me in a real awkward position. Did you ever find that Eureka? Um, not yet, no. I'm still looking for it. Okay, that's fine but not great for us oh, man flash freeze <laughs> where were you last turn um i don't think we're upheavaling here mm, this is rough yeah this is actually pretty bad for us I kind of want to discard three and nine. Like, I want to play both of these next turn, but I might just want to keep up for mid flash freeze. I think we can. Yeah, Iron Man, just let me know. No, no pressure. I mean, if we can get like a Phantasmal image, it would be fantastic. So maybe I'm kicking myself for not psych, quote unquote, cycling, looting. Um. God, do I care about that? Not really. I 
I mean, I'm definitely, I think I'm definitely blocking here. Because one more loot is very, very strong for us. I don't know if for CS, like, getting to six mana does not seem <laughs> sustainable. Does not seem realistic, rather. Um, oh my god. Oh my god. That's fantastic. Wow. Like, if we can actually just counter their spell... gonna crack this and just get a red source here i do want to hit a land i think we're getting rid of these two next turn it lets us cast teferi and then we just need to find one more land for niv Whatever this is, I'm instant I'm snap countering this, whatever this is. Unless it says can't be countered, which is a thing that happens here in Cube Town. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the first blue card they've ever played. Fantastic. That's insane. Wow. Always a pleasure, Consecrated Sphinx. Yep. Oh god, and if we target ourselves, Jesus. Oh Jesus, this is bananas. Then they just get to draw four more cards? Ugh, god. I mean, I'll wait till next turn when I can plus it and not have to worry about... I mean, getting niv Mizzet into plays. Oh god. That's horrendous. Sure. Yep, all right, none of these are any good. It's going face here. I mean, we need a red source here, so. Okay, well, our draws have been good, but, I mean, Consecrated Sphinx is kind of a thing. You know what, I'll risk it because we get to shoot two elves and it also puts Dak at six. Uh, discard you and you. Shoot to this guy. Shoot to this guy. So you can draw four. I mean, it sucks. But next turn, Dak, if we activate it to uh, get an emblem, then we can start stealing their guys. So that's cool. eight cards in hand guys <laughs> one two three four five only five six lands so that's good we're not like any crater hoof behemoth just 
Sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Still not crater hoof. Yep, that one's pretty good. This is a lot of things they're doing. No frost titan. <sighs> Fucking amazing. <laughs> well, it's pretty good. The problem is Sphinx is a May ability, so they're never gonna mill themselves. Yep, cool. Boy, that Plow Under really decided this whole game. Plow Under, we'd have two extra lands in play right now, and we'd be able to flash freeze either this, this, Thrag Tusk to begin with. Yep. That's amazing. Upheaval? Mythos. So we're going to go green, red, blue, blue, Mythos, cast with color associations, we'll copy Kogla. And we're going to fight her, and we are going to fight her. Two fights. And I think Kogla dies here, right? So that's sad. Is it worth picking up Teferi for Indestructible? I don't actually know. We don't we don't have green. There's no way we can do that. I think just getting them off the board with one card is probably fine. Oh, let's gain control of their their great henge. I guess that's a thing we can steal. That's pretty cool. Oh, they just get to kill it with Kogla. God, they just have the answer for fucking everything this game. Yeah, it's really, it's actually really wild. They just had the perfect answers for everything. This hand's really rough. I feel like we have time, like we have two two turns to draw on land. If it's if it's a red, it's good. But these guys are very very slow. Yeah, this is much better. Keep ship an island. Oh, they went to six two, so that's that's a little bit better. Yeah, Riftwing into Dax seems good here. Remember that time we had Flash Freeze and we're like, we can counter anything you play, and then they played the literal first blue card they've played in three matches? Me too. I got PTSD when I saw that Flash Freeze. I was like, ugh. I am just hoping they don't go Arch Druid here because they've had it all three games. Two games. Two games, rather. They've had it two games. Thrashing Brontodon. 
So that we just play Dak and they kill it. Yeah, we're just passing here. Mm -hmm. Definitely not countering that thing. I mean, I'm tempted to rapid hybridization this, but I don't think it really does much. Especially when they have things like Consecrated Sphinx in their deck. And we can just bounce it in like two turns. Oh, next turn. That's nice. Yeah, we're probably countering that. That guy seems very good here. Not only does it net you three mana, but it also pumps your guys, so... Sure. And this is actually really good. We can actually play Teferi and bounce this guy. Okay, well, we were hoping to draw land there, and we did, so that's actually pretty good. I'm just going to pass here. Surviving is clutch. Kind of like deck here. We block. We block. We can rapid hybridization if we want. We can also forbid. <sighs> hmm. I think we're just keeping the forbid here. Unfortunately, we've not played any matches where the artifacts are relevant. Vanifar. No, that seems too good. Tack, tack. Oh, this is a this is great. <laughs> this is an easy trade. Um double block here. Yeah, Dak can go to one. That's totally fine. Uh, podcast is on iTunes. We haven't done it in a while, though. So there's that. Oh, boy. That is unfortunate. Oh boy. Is it just Dragon Master Outcast? I think we actually just crush them with Dragon Master Outcast next turn. Well, 
Like, if we just play Dragon Master Outcast, I don't think they have an answer except for, like, if they top deck a Kogla. And then we're going to wish we had Mass, mass Manips here. All right. No Kogla. I feel like if they had Kogla, they probably would have played it over Prime Speaker because then they just kill Teferi. So if they, they have to top deck it here. <sighs> top deck and Consecrated Sphinx also pretty good. Those are the two cards I'm kind of afraid of. Man, hitting Mass, mass Manips and Bone Crusher was rough. Oh, why not play at the end of his turn? I because I literally just forgot. That's why. Yeah, I'm gonna feel real dumb if it is a for four. Okay, that's actually fine. They have two one drops. I'm really not scared about Prime Speaker right now. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, we can easily uh, loot here. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think now we're in great shape. See, now we're going to keep Nimizid up and play that dude as if it has flash because it does have flash. Yeah, this is probably unbeatable. I'm no expert here, but... Karuga, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, but now they go get? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The problem is we just don't have a great answer for Consecrated Sphinx. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, they're getting Kogla. Interesting. Sure. Fine by me. I mean, I have 10 power and dragons on the board. And this guy don't have reach, so... Give me a counterspell. Oh, Pact of Negation will do. All right. You gotta know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to pact of negation. When there's a run. Cast your consecrated sphinx, yeah. I'm gonna counter it. Oh, that guy needs a counter. And we get to draw a card. Oh, we get to draw control magic. Where were you last turn? Oh my god, 2-1. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to go to twitch.tv slash Laporte if you want to support the channel. And be sure to hit that like or hit that hit that follow or subscribe button. It's a great way to support the channel. And I am here five to six days a week. So you'll uh, be able to see me more often. We'll get to hang out. And you get to support the content that you're watching. So be sure to check out twitch.tv. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.